explosive move and he'll shoot too. Orlando shooting their first free throw. First trip to the line in this one. And typically, a strength of theirs, 79% on the season. And Kevin, it's something they've been working very hard to correct and to change. I mean, they know how important it is to fix that inability at the free throw line. And Lawson hits two free throws. So the Pacers called season's stingiest defensive teams. The Magic in third. I mean, terrific <laughs> shot instead of shooting foul. And we'll see free throws coming up right here. The Magic have gone two for two in the game at the line. And he knocks down the first one. and it's two free throws. Hard to get that one off with the size difference there. That makes it a tough individual matchup for him, especially down low. Well, took on the big guys going in there and challenging them like he did. But boy, that was a nice job. For Orlando, they have hit all four of their chances so far in this one. It's the stuff of legends. And it'll be Orlando with their first time out of the game right here. Yeah, clearly they were starting to show signs of fatigue, so Coach wanted to give them a second to get their win back. It's a smooth That's operation. Mm. Oh. Sade, I like that, Greg. <laughs>Guys, he's having a ball out there. I mean, we knew going in that he'd have an advantage on the glass, but I didn't think he could be this dominant. What a difference. For Orlando, they have been perfect so far from the free throw line. Six for six. And they have yet nice shot there without a second to spare. You know, as a defending team in that situation, it really irks you to give up a shot like that to close out the quarter. You know, oftentimes those end of quarter points can be the difference in a ball game. And through the first half, a pretty lopsided affair. Orlando out in front, opening up a huge gap. 2K Sports, back in a moment from the Amway Center. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Well, two quarters down, two to go. Welcome back. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, and Kenny the Jet Smith as we start breaking it down for you. Out in front of the half is Orlando. They are completely in control of the game, leading by a massive amount. Kenny, what do you think? In terms of their offensive performance, that was a very well-played half of basketball. Good ball movement off the ball, hard screens being set, and they found the guy for the open look. That's how they were able to shoot such a tremendous percentage from the field. With that fluid, efficient offense, they'll be tough to catch in the second half. Shaq, your take on Indiana. Well, first of all, as cold as they've been from the floor, I can't say I'm surprised by the score. You cannot shoot the ball that poorly and expect to be in the game, Ernie. They need better ball movement. If their offense stays this stagnant, they could forget about a comeback. 
And that's going to do it for now as the second half is almost ready to get started. Back to Kevin Harlan and the rest of the 2K Sports crew. We're going to sit right here and wait for the end of the game and talk at you again. Move and he'll shoot two. No, I tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. Yeah, if you're going to foul, then make sure that you don't give a chance for the and one. And a closer look here at the hustle stats for the Magic. Defensively, they played with a lot of energy, and the steals we've seen are a result of that aggressiveness. Another factor here tonight has been the amount of points they've scored off turnovers. And Lawson hits two free throws. That's an increase in his right, free now. throw percentage Take a break. Take um, from a break. last year. Um, maybe shot. not a large one, but it is a little bit higher, so you've got to like that progress. The first one falls, so Indiana ends up with a new group on the floor. one falls, so he hits both of them. With a chance for another one at the strike. Don't you love the chemistry? Those guys work so well together in the open floor. Their interior defense has been dismal. Yeah, they're losing the battle in the paint. At the line, shooting one. Hatchet. Over the top, but instead he'll shoot free throws. First one drops. So he gets them both. Long range. He's in a groove, and that tray of his has just been dead. And so it's Orlando taking this one by a big margin. This game may not have been the most exciting we've ever seen, but you have to appreciate just what a clinical performance they put on. Yeah, they were the superior team in every department, in every category to me, Kevin. I know their fans loved it and appreciated it. And that'll do it, folks. For Clark Kellogg, Greg Anthony, and Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan along with our entire 2K sports crew thanking you for tuning in. And now we'll head over to the studio with Ernie Johnson. The 2K Sports Post Game Show. Many thanks, Kevin. And now a chance to check out some of the uh, tremendous play tonight from our Jordan player of the game. An absolutely astounding and historic night for him here in this game. He was simply unstoppable in what can only be described as a masterful performance. In terms of three-point shooting, this could be framed as a historic performance. Hitting that many three-point shots in a single game is borderline impossible. The pressure was off the rest of the guys offensively. They just had to worry about getting him the ball and setting screens. Then it was bombs away. His accuracy from the field was pretty eye-catching. I mean, if he was shooting the ball, it was going in. You rarely see a performance like this with this crazy high shooting percentage. Wow. And that wraps things up, folks. Thanks for joining us. For Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith, Kevin Harlan, and the rest of the 2K Sports crew, I'm Ernie Johnson. Good night, everybody.